so I'm going to show you how to scissor wings into a dog's coat. Uh, I was looking all over YouTube and I couldn't find any videos of how to start doing some wings. Um, so I will quickly just go through what I do before I start scissoring and clipping. So I always sketch out what I'm going to do. Um, here's my poodle with the wings. And then I've got all my different types of scissors, um, various different types of curves, uh, chunkers, and a few different pairs of straight scissors. Um, and then I've got uh, various other things, but I'll stop babbling and crack on. Right, so to do your wings, you could start with a blow pen or chalk and just draw your shape. Um, when the amount of wings that I have done, um, I've always found it looks better when you do the wings higher up on the body rather low because if you think how a bird would fly the, the wings are going to be up higher aren't they and you kind of want to imagine that these dogs can fly so uh, well i like to anyway but anyway right i'll start so i'll just so i use one of these the various tools with these like thin pointy bits to separate hair um so here we go so i make a line this is from my imaginations. I know some of you probably think, oh, I can't, I can't do this. And uh, how, how is she doing that all in her head? Well, we all just, all, we're all artists and we all think differently with this. So whichever way you do, um, it will be absolutely fine. You've just got to have confidence in yourself. So there's my line that I have done, that I can see. Now I'm going to go in my clippers, I'm using a seven here. I'm just going to take the top part out. Like so. Now her coat length is the equivalent to a wall peach comb attachment at the moment. Um, so you want to go as short as you can. I'm going to start with a 7 but I may go down to a 10 to work to give the wings more definition. So, start with that, and we can see there is a line just there now, where we've got part of the hair up like so. So, um, I keep referencing to my picture that I've shown you, and away we go. So, I'm gonna start with the, the round part. So, I've got my line, and I'm gonna do my round part just here. So, look at me. Hopefully, I'm not too much in the way. I've not done all these videos before, so uh, if I'm all over the place, I do apologise. So, there we go. And then I'm going to go with my seven now that I've got the area that I want, just to clear that, that I can see where I need to go. And like I said, she hasn't got the best coat, so it's probably not going to wow you, but I'm going to show, show you how, how you get your shape. So, can you see this already? So I've got my round shape in, you can see that I've got a line there. Okay, right. So, now that I've done that, I'm going to shape in the bottom part of the wing here, okay? So, good girl, Amy. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect to start with, but I've got my line, okay? And then come in with my seven. more of the shape transforming okay so now I'm just going to take this upwards at an angle there we go and 
bene, come vi marciate le pelle. of the wings okay so I'm going to start with the top part first because that is going to be the longer part to scissor in and then this one's going to be the shorter part again if you've got your pens or chalks you can do a line there and do a line there good girl Amy so there's a longer line in Outside. As you can see, so giving it a definite line. I mean, you can use your trimmers on this. Um, I prefer to use my scissors because um, sometimes. I can't see what I'm doing with the clippers if I go in far too much. With scissors I can always see. And that's a part of grooming. I was always taught, if, if you can't see what you're scissoring, don't do it. So, always got to have your eyes on the ball, as they say. Right, so just... And then cut that away so you can see more of the line. Right, that's definitely taking shape. And then I'm going to do the bottom one now. Good girl, Amy. Shape the outer bit there. Always using my comb to make sure I've got every little bit and make sure I can give definitive lines. You're being good girl, aren't you, Amy? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, it's always harder when you've not got the best coat, but you know what? If I can do this on a bad coat, anybody can do this on a bad coat. Just go around with my curves, just to neaten that up. There's a good girl, Amy. Good girl. Right, so I think you can probably see the shape. Um, if not, then just keep sort of scissoring away. You can use your thinners now just to edge it. To open it up a bit more. Again, doing the same with this part here. And I'm just 
going to do it backwards up like so. Find line. Like so. And then you can always put chalk in here just to separate the lines. Um, but that is your basic wing. And I hope that helps you. Thanks for watching.